Hi, I'm Audrey Lane reporting for WLSD News at 5. I'm here with Sid Dion, owner of Asheville's newest and most talked about restaurant, a fondue joint that's, well, light on the dressing. Sid, what is it about this place that has everyone ranting? Well, at most fondue establishments, you'd worry about spilling dip all over your new suit. Uh, at Skinny Dip, we free our customers from that worry so they can focus on good gourmet food. You smell like peaches. We're here for the cowboy who likes raiding the fridge in his birthday suit. And what can customers expect to find on the menu? Oh, we've got our Vietnamese, Italian, fusion plum sauce, or the creme de la fleur. We interrupt this program with a special report from the President of the United States. How you doing, America? This here is your leader, George W. Bush. It's good being back at the Capitol here with Dick and Connie. As you know, I've been busy with world leaders trying to solve world problems. Mostly the conflict between the state of Israel and Hezbollah or something like that. Since returning, I have noticed a lot of talk about Al Gore's new movie and, uh, and uh, Inconsiderate Truth. He got 51% of the vote in 2000. That's almost half. Sometimes you feel like letting loose. I saw that Penguin movie twice. It made me and Laura cry. I tell you, it was good. Not Dukes of Hazard good, but pretty darn good. I didn't realize how tough life is at the, uh, the uh, North Pole up there. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I think of the cute little old penguins and it puts me at ease. But that's another issue. I'm speaking to you tonight because this inconspicuous truth movie is a direct threat to our American way of life. It's about the so-called woman of the globe. That's not very American. It says that we are destroying the world by living. Gore uses all these charts and graphs to prove this. Gives me a headache. Trees are living. Trees are good for the environment. So are animals. I like animals, especially penguins. Seems like a no-brainer. Scientists say that the carbon dioxide levels are off the chart. I have a ranch in Texas, so I know about bovine flatulence. But they're just basing all that on scientific fact which really doesn't interest me very much, never has. The fact is, nobody knows for sure what causes globe warming. You could study it for years. That's what my gut tells me. The important question for us to answer now is, are we going to change our way of life to reduce globe warming? The simple answer is, no. The more complex answer is, no, of course not. The environment will never behave right if we keep babying it like we've been. I've always believed in tough love. So in closing, I want every American to know that if we stand together for democracy and freedom, we can defeat anything that stands in our way. That includes an, uh, an incongenital truth, Al Gore, and globe warming. They should be pounded into sus to submission with shock and awe. Thank you, and good night. This has been a message from the President of the United States. We now resume our normal programming, already in progress. So why dinner in the buff? What attracted you to this particular style of dining? Darling, sometimes you just gotta let loose. This is Audrey Lane with WLSD signing off. Hey, Cheney, how you been, man? I ain't seen you in a while. It's good to see you, bud. You wanna point that gun elsewhere, man? That thing's right up in my grill. Yeah. My, oh, there it is again. <laughs> yeah, don't trust that Cheney. He's got, you gotta keep an eye on him. It's my right eye, it's my good one.
Oh, there's Cheney again. I think he had another one. Yeah, he'll kick back. He's a strong old fellow. Yeah, we'll worry about him later. Hey, Condi. Is that a new perfume you're wearing? You sure smell good, girl. Yeah, I like... Whoa, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about it, Laura. <sighs> we finally done with this. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs>